Welcome to episode two of Graphic Descriptions. Today I'm going to be looking at The Fifth Beal. I've been looking forward to this graphic novel for almost a year, which is kind of odd. While I'm a Be I like Beale's music, I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm a fan. I am interested in stories about background characters, however. After all, everyone and everything is a main character of their own story. I went in half blind reading this story. I knew Brian Epstein was their manager and that he was dead and gay and this plays a major part of the story but I didn't know anything else about that. Um, there were two characters at the start of the novel that may not seem very significant. Heck, um, we only know the name of one and, um, and the other one we don't even know if, the, if it's the person's first or last name. And plus, we don't even know if one of the characters even exists. One is a sailor, and the other is a woman named Moxie. What happens with these two sets up the path for the rest of his life. The story starts while he was working at his father's record store, finding out who the Beals are for the first time, and, and, it, ends right, and it ends right before his contract with them expires. The thing I liked about the book was the art. The artists were a Andrew S. Andrew C. Robinson and Kyle Baker. The, the work on the book I, I feel surpassed the writing. While almost 100% of the book is seems to be in a painted type style, while it looks like it might be watercolor, they did use different styles on this book. It goes from dark and muted to bright and sunny, um, bleakly split, cartoony to ultra, ultra realistic. Depending on the scene, the art will look one way and then another. Here's an example. When Brian mixed up with um, Elvis's manager, Colonel Parker, it veers from caricature to realistic. Colonel Parker at one point gets drawn with shark teeth while, when discussing his contract with Elvis. In some of the layouts, I do see a bit of a pop art sensibility. While some of the writing can be tough to get through initially, one of the best bits is when Brian meets the Beals for the first time. He says, you're late. No, I'm not late. I'm George. <laughs> Classic. I also like the contrast in art styles. As I said earlier, um, most of the book appears to be painted. There's a strip near the end near the end of the book that's called Chaos in Philippines that reminded me of an older, the older Mad Magazine strips. It helps add levity to what at times is a very serious, serious and tragic story. What did I learn from this novel? 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 Well, periodically going through the story of Brian uh, we, we keep seeing him taking pills subscribed by a doctor doctor to help his ex exhaustion and his other problem. His other problem apparently is intimate inclinations, as one doctor put it. Now, I wasn't aware that in the past doctors would prescribe people drugs to cure homosexuality. I also wasn't aware that in Britain you could be thrown in jail for it. In the novel, um, it has Ed Sullivan. In the novel, with in the novel, Ed Sullivan is negotiating with Brian using ventriloquist dummies. Um, per the afterward in the novel, this actually really happened. Apparently, he would negotiate with people using dummies. That I. The, the things you learn. As far as Moxie, it seems pretty obvious earlier on and becomes clear later on once you consider that she only interacts with Ryan and no one else on what she actually is. The author did state that not everything in the book happened. So the character of Diz, so if did the character of Diz, his supposed um, gay lover, actually exist or was it just used for drama? 
he really doesn't say, and I haven't seen anything in any kind of interviews him with, with the author saying if he did or not. While I did enjoy the story, I did have some issues about it. I think I can understand what the writer wanted to want to do at the start of the story, but I just felt that this this was this story was kind of writing writing wise kind of hard to get get into, and we really didn't get a very clear um, understanding of Brian's life. We see him only as an adult. We never see him growing up. We never see. It's just, it's just odd the attack that he used on this one. Brian was a closeted gay man, but it seems like that his family accepted that. It would have been nice to see him come out and have them deal with it, but. Apparently, that's not the story that the writer wanted to tell. Um, I guess basically what he what we needed for this was an origin story, and we didn't get that. Also, another issue I had with the story was at some points the writing didn't seem organic. It just seems that sometimes the characters are talking, but they're not listening to each other. They're talking at each other. They're just saying, I'm probably not explaining correctly, but um, there looks like they would use soliloquies instead of just ordinary talking. Just they're just talking for effect, and it just didn't seem just didn't seem organic. If this is uh, if this were a play, it would probably have played better. Also, a problem I had with this was it didn't seem there didn't seem to be much dimension to the characters. Um, I know these characters. I know it's since it's a comic, they're two D characters, but they should still appear to be have some depth to them. They should be three dimensional, but they only seem one dimensional. I mean, they you don't really really get a lot from any of the members of the Beatles. The Beatles just appear to be silly and that's it so this whole story comes off a little light with some tragic tragicness mixed in it just seems like um, they always plus the Beatles didn't seem to be that smart they just seem to always do what Brian said and that's it they would never disagree or talk about it. they were like okay while they did did um, seem to be uh, some occasional dips into Brian's psyche, basically it was only on a surface level and nothing deep or anything like that. The book ends with Brian's death. It never states what really killed him. Exhaustion or early STD, the pills, we never really find out. And that's the interesting way to end it. it May seem to have been really critical on this graphic novel, but I did like it, and I think I'm going to, have to read it again in order to maybe I'll get more of an impact on this. I just feel that this book did not tap the full potential that it could have and everything. It just seemed not to flow as well. Despite those um, issues, I do recommend that you should at least. Read it once. Thank you.